Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sugitech and I'm here once with a new Sony Vegas tutorial and this one is going to show you guys how to create a timer or a timestamp into your videos. So I'm going to use first um, just a royalty free stock footage. This is just a, a blurred lights over here as you can see on the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new video track and preferably, well, actually it should be above the video that you're going to you're going to use. And then we're going to right click and insert a text media here. And um, we're going to stretch it into the same length as the video, depending on how much you want to have the actual timer. And we're going to scratch the text since we don't really need it. And we're going to create a change the duration up here to we're going to change this number to two. We're going to put that five to zero and that's fine. That should be the duration of the, like the timer itself. And then we're going to go into the media effects. No, actually this one. Nope. The third one. Yeah. And we're going to choose a Sony time code over here. It should be on the very default folder. We click OK and here we have it. We have the, actually the timer created over on the corner of the actual video, which is really, really cool. This is great for time lapse videos or whatever purpose you may have. And here should be appearing a uh, FX box and you can change the actual um, system here. And if you want, I don't know what that is called, but you, if you want two dots to change it to Smite non drop 29.97. This, um, the drop one has that thing. That's kind of annoying for me. And if you just want um, seconds, you can change that too. It shows you seconds like that. You can also change it to time, which will show you a different metric here again, once again. And there are a lot of options, but um, I use the, the non drop. I think that's the best. Then you're also able to change where the box will be, either on the middle like that, or you can change it to left or to right. Then there's also top, middle, and bottom. And then you can change the width of it, how big it is, how small it is. You can also change the height. This is, you know, for whatever purpose you may have. And that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Check out my other Sony Vegas guides. And if you have something that you like to learn, I will make a video about it. You just write something in the comments and voila, I will do and teach you guys how to do that trick. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.